Okay, this video is going to get you started in installing SolidWorks on your home computer. I'm going to go over a few items here. Hopefully you have a machine that can run SolidWorks. I'm going to take you step by step what we need to do. Um, if you go into Canvas and you go to the engineering design uh, course and you go to modules, I have a module on um, instructions for downloading SolidWorks. If you open that up, uh, in here there's the link. That's going to, don't click on that quite yet. That's going to take you to SolidWorks, and here's the code to download it. Before you do that, at the bottom I've added a video. Some of you have already completed my survey, but uh, if you don't know what your computer um, has for memory and so forth, then you're going to need to take a look at your computer uh, ahead of time. I have one of these videos for Macs as well, installing SolidWorks on a Mac is going to be a bit more complicated. I'll try to cover a little bit of that as much as I can anyway uh, with this video as well. But before we get started with going right to the site, I want to cover a couple of I other items. First of all, the information about your computer, and then uh, a little bit about, you know, what you're going to need for SolidWorks. Okay, so if I I just did a quick search in what's required for running SolidWorks 2019. They say that we need this processor, this, this. This is recommended, but I just installed SolidWorks on uh, two pretty old school computers for kids who didn't have them, and they only had 6 gigabytes of RAM, not 16, and uh, it seemed to run. So going to be a little more challenging. You may not be able to do uh, big assemblies and we'll, we'll, we'll work through it, but I think it's worth a shot. In other words, don't give up if you don't have all of this. Um, but if you do have a computer in your house that, you know, ask your folks, you, I would pick the best one that you have. Um, if you don't have any computers that can run it, contact me. I have a couple more old computers at the school. I will try to do whatever I can if I can get into the building and get you set up um, as I did with a couple other students. If you have one at home, uh, check out what it has for an operating system first of all, you know, uh, and then we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. Any questions, you can reach out to me, uh, video conference if you need to, but I do think that uh, tomorrow, Monday, video conferencing is going to be... Okay. Back here, um, so assuming you got a computer that you can use again, don't do this with one of the school issue laptops, that's not going to work. But if you got a decent computer at home, we're going to move forward. Uh, first things first, you're going to want to hook this up if you can directly to your modem router. If you look at the back, um, this is where you get internet at your house. On the back side, you've got ports for an Ethernet cable. For those of you who need a reminder of what those look like, that's your Ethernet cable. You want to plug that directly into your computer. All right, so find your source for the Internet, your house, bring your computer over to that location, plug it directly in. Don't try to do it um, via the Wi-Fi in your house. It's going to take forever. Okay, so you've got your computer plugged in, and it's... Um, ready to go. I suggest maybe doing this at night when things are, the internet is uh, maybe not being used as much with your, the rest of your family or something because it's going to take a few hours to do. I just did it with a couple of older computers at school and uh, it took me and the students who were helping me um, probably about two hours or so to get the whole job done. So this is a, it's, it's going to take a while to download all of um, what you need, the files and so forth, to get it installed. Okay, um, moving forward. So we've got our computer, we've got it hooked up. Oh, I was going to mention um, just a moment. If you do have a Mac, you're going to want to do a little bit of a search, and uh, there are instructions out there um, for installing um, on a Mac. thought I had one called up. Uh, maybe not. Here we go. Um, so if you do a little search, you're going to need to um, install something like Boot Camp or Parallels on your Mac. 
uh, and you're going to need to have that running to get it going. But it does work. I know I've had a number of students um, at Three Rivers who had success getting it going on the Mac, so it is possible. Again, I would hook your computer directly up uh, via uh, Ethernet cable, and you're going to have to get Windows running. You can't run it on the Mac OS. Okay. We've got a computer running with Windows hooked up to our modem. Now we're going to go to Solid. Okay, we're at the SolidWorks site. Um, right in here, you're going to put in the code, and that code is in Canvas. So if you um, have your Canvas page open, you're going to copy uh, the code right in. That's this guy right here. All right, um, that's going to be your code to put in here. All right, the version that you want to install is 2019-2020. You're going to put in your school email address, and you're going to put in your student. Um, I can't go any further than that um, right now because I've already got it installed on my machine. So you're going to have to follow those steps along. Um, when you go to do the install, you want to deselect the electrical components and some of those other pieces. I'm going to see if I can illustrate that in some other way. Okay, um, this is the best I could find at the moment. It's a PDF document for an old, older version of SolidWorks. But what I wanted to point out here is uh, once the installer loads, you're going to you're going to have to extract it. It, it gets downloaded as a uh, zip file, so you're going to extract that. Get it up and running. It's going to ask for the serial number, and you're going to paste that right in here. That serial number is this number right here, your code. You're going to take that guy and paste it in there. Okay. And once you get that in, it's then going to ask you about uh, the product. Um, where did I see that? Actually, it was right there. Um, and you can change so that you're not installing all of this. You can just you don't need simulation, you don't need electrical design, um, and the electrical piece is the one that you want to deselect. So if you go in there and hit the change button, um, and uh, here we go, this is where I was talking about. Under the products piece, if you hit this guy right here that says change, and you take off this one right here, which you can barely see, the SolidWorks electrical, that seems to be the culprit that sometimes causes problems. Um, deselect that and then just go forward and accept the, the values. You should be good to go. It's going to take a while. Um, you can deselect some of the other things that you know you might not need. If you have questions, you can ask me. Um, but this is where you're going to go in and make some changes when you do the install. Again, you're going to give yourself a couple hours for this. It takes a while to, to download and install. You don't need to sit there with it the whole time. You can go work on some other homework or Go do some exercise or whatever you want, but um, it's, it's going to take some time.